Selling on Amazon? Variation can get messy if you don't do them right. In this video, I will show you three easy ways to add variations. Whether you are creating a brand new listing, updating an existing one, or even merging separate listing into a single parental setup. So let's dive in. The first method is also the easiest, adding variations while creating the product listing. Most sellers use this method and I recommend it too. Why? Because it saves you from a lot of issues later. Adding variation after publishing often gets messy. I'll explain that later in this video. For now, let's focus on first method. Alright, I won't walk you through the entire listing process, but I'll show you exactly where variation fits in. In this first method, we will focus on how to add variations while creating a new product listing. So to begin, log into your Seller Central account. Now from the hamburger menu, click catalog, then click add product. Or you can do it by clicking manage all inventory if you are in the manage all inventory page. Now click on add a product. You may notice an option here that says create variations. But keep in mind, if you don't have created any listing yet, this wizard won't be available. Now in most cases, you will be selling private level products. So for that, select the blank form option, then click start. In the first step, you will need to fill out the required fields. These are marked with a red star. First is item name. This is your listing title. This is what buyers see next to your product image in search results. You can always edit it later, but for now, write something simple and descriptive. For example, if you're selling water bottles in different sizes and colors, uh, just enter water bottle. Well, Amazon will also suggest a product category. If it's correct, simply confirm it. If not, choose select other and search for the right one. For example, I'm selling sports water bottles. So I'll type that in and select the category sports water bottles. Finally, in the item type keyword box, enter your main product keyword again. In this case, water bottle and select the most accurate category from the list. Now, here is the important step. You need to let Amazon know that this product will have variations. To do that, simply click the variation box. All right, so here is a tip. Even if you don't have variation right now, but you think you may have add them in future, check this box anyway. It will save you a lot of trouble later. If you skip it and later decide to add variation, the process become much more complicated. I'll show you how to handle that in the later part of this video. All right, so depending on the category you selected earlier, Amazon will show different variation attributes. Since I'm using water bottles as an example, I can choose attributes like size and color. For this example, I will select both size and color because I want to sell bottles in different sizes and colors. You can select one attribute or multiple depending on your products. For the brand name field, you can enter your private level brand. If you are just testing or setting up a draft, you can put generic for now. You will now see a few extra tabs appear at the top of the page. These tabs require more details about your product and you will need to fill them in. Since this video focuses only on variation, I won't go into each section in detail. For now, just remember uh, in the product description, enter details about your item. You can always edit this later. In this product details sections, complete the required fields. Do them same in the offer section. Finally, in the variation section, you will see the variation attributes you selected earlier. In my cases, size and colors are already pre-selected. One important note here, once you create the parent SQ, you cannot change the variation type. So make sure you choose the right attributes now. What we are doing right now is creating the parent listing. So the parent listing is like a placeholder that connects all your variations together. Each variation you add is called a child listing and they are grouped under this single parent listing. If this feels confusing right now, don't worry. As we continue, it will start to make sense. Since I am selling water bottles in different colors and sizes, now I need to define those attributes. For this example, let's say I have bottles in two colors like blue and orange and they come into two sizes. Let's suppose 10 ounce and 20 ounce. So in the color field, I will enter blue and orange. You'll notice that Amazon creates rows for each color automatically. If you make a mistake, you can easily remove or edit them from here. All right, next in the size field, I'll enter uh, 10 ounce and 20 ounce. You can also enter terms like small, large, if that works better for your product. 
but in my case i want to specify the exact capacity at the bottom amazon automatically generates all the combinations for me blue and orange bottles in both 10 ounce and 20 ounce sizes here is what you need to do if you have your own sq system for variations enter them here if you selling private label products you will need to purchase separate js1 barcodes for each variation and enter them in the barcode column from the drop down choose upc since this is just an example i'll leave this blank next set the item condition to new in the price column enter the price for each variation if all variations have same price you can just repeat the same value you will also have the option to upload images for each variation this is important especially when your variation are based on color and sizes for example i can upload photos of the blue bottles and orange bottles separately you can always update or replace these images later once everything is filled out click submit and that's it you have successfully added variations while creating a brand new product listing but what if you have already created a listing and want to add variations later let's go through that next on the parent listing open the drop down menu and click edit listing go to the variation tab and you will see the same page we used earlier now let's say you have introduced a new color simply add it here if it comes in the same sizes as your existing ones enter those sizes too or if you are adding a brand new size for example 64 ounce you can add that as well just fill in the required fields like before and then click submit it's that simple but what if you already created separate product listings and now want to merge them into one single child parent listing this is little more advanced but there are three ways to do it so method number one add a standalone product to an existing parent child listing for example i already have water bottle parent listing with four variation if i want to add another bottle listing on it i'll go the parent listing click edit listing and then variations at the bottom you'll see a field called add existing standalone listing here enter the SKU of the standalone product you want to merge so if i want to add another water bottle listing under this parent i just copy the SKU from my manage inventory page paste it here and click add this will merge that listing into a variation family method number two use the create variation wizard go to add products and at the bottom click create variations using variations wizard if you already have a parent child listing and you want to merge other standalone listing with it choose the option add or update an existing variation family here enter the asin of the parent listing copy it from your manage inventory page and paste it here then click add variation fill in the detail of your new variation for example a silver 10 ounce bottle select the size color condition quantity and then price then click save if you have more variation to merge repeat the same process otherwise click generate template wait a while and you will see the new template ready to download once it's ready download the file when you open it you will see instruction on how to use it i recommend leaving this file as it is on the template tab you'll see all the current variation along with the new variation you just added i don't suggest making changes directly in this spreadsheet since it's much easier to manage inside seller central instead go back to the add product page click on spreadsheet and upload the file you downloaded if there are no errors click submit and that's it your new variation will now appear under the parent listing all right let's go over the final scenario what if you don't have a parent child listing at all instead you have already created separate standalone listing for example i might have created four different listing for my water bottles two colors and two sizes now the question is how do we merge them into a single parent listing with variations for this we will use the create variations wizard this time choose the second option create a new variation family by combining existing standalone listings you will notice this process has four steps let's go through them step number one download the category template file the easiest way is to go to add products click on a spreadsheet then click on download blank template under update the product details click on get product template here amazon asks for the product type i will search for water bottle if the category is correct click select if not click browse search again and choose the most accurate category 
In my case, I'll select sports water bottles. Then scroll down, click on generate spreadsheet, wait a few minutes and download the file. Step number two, open the template file. You'll see instruction on how to fill it out. Step number three, fill in the template. In the first row under seller SQ, create your parent SQ. It can be anything descriptive, for example, a bottle parent. In the following rows, copy and paste the SQs of the child listing you want to merge. In the brand name column, add your brand. In the update, delete column, type partial update. Now scroll to the variation section. In percentage, put parent for the first row and child for the rest. The parent SQ leave the first row blank and for the children, reference the parent SQ. In the variation themes, write size, color. In the relation type, leave the first row blank and for the rest, put variation. That's all you need and save the file. Step number four, upload the file. Go back to the add product page. Click on a spreadsheet and upload your completed file. Once it processes, you'll see new parent child listing inside your manage inventory. And that's it. This method is definitely the most complex out of these three. So if you can, always try to set up variations when you first create the listing. That will save you a lot of extra steps later. Still confused? No worries, just email us at info at ecomclips.com. At ecomclips, we have got 12 plus years of experience, 300 plus e-commerce experts, and we manage thousands of Amazon choices and bestseller products worldwide. We'd love to help you too. Also, check out www.ecomclips.com. We have got tons of resources there. And hey, if this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Got question? Drop them into the comment section. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.